All right, what is up, all you woodland critters? Spreading your sympathy across the land of Root. Trying to convince people to join your cause so that you can skirt all of the VPs. But the question is, does it take one base or two? All right, so let's look at the pros. One base pro, it costs two less revolt cards which is great because you don't need the matching suits, and you can use those cards to mobilize and get some sympathy on the board. It is much easier to defend. Uh, you can put more troops into one concentrated area, making it a lot harder for you to lose your base. Uh, and last, you can train a lot of officers. You can get as high as seven officers versus probably four or five in the two-base approach, which gives you a lot more actions at night, and that is great. All right, two-base pros. Cards on cards on cards on cards on cards. Uh, you get a lot more cards to craft, uh, spread sympathy through, mobilize, things like that. Um, you definitely get more organized options, which is great because you have two bases and a lot more branching paths that connect. So you can get the sympathies that are right next to your base in those clearings. And last, you're just not as susceptible to like the crazy powerful things that like the lizards can do and the scoundrel and the ranger coming up and killing your buildings and favor cards. Those damn favor cards. Uh, when you lose your base to either something like this or just a normal attack, it doesn't affect you as much as with one base. You have options to get your second base back in, and it's just easier to recover. Alright, so what's all the nerdy math say? Well, we played about two dozen games and collected data on all those and found out that at one base, you average 4.23 VPs per round. Skrr, skrr! And at two base, you average 4.56 VPs per round. Skrr, skrr! All right, Engineer says that statistically speaking, these are not significant. Um, the variation is due to randomness, and you have to treat them as being equal. All right, so there you have it. No points for either side on that one, even though it kind of looks like two. It's not, statistically. Next metric. Win percentage. Uh, at one base, we were able to hit a 75% win percentage, playing under the same conditions, and always four-player matches. At two bases, it was an 83.3% win condition under the same criteria. So clearly, two base had a higher win percentage here, which goes in favor of them, and we will explain why in a little bit. Next metric, we got blast scoring at one base. We were able to achieve a max score of 16 VPs per round. Uh, which is really great. At two base, we hit 17 VPs. Slightly better, but I'd say both of these are relatively equal. No leg up here. It all relies on spreading two or three sympathies during the spread sympathy phase and then doing two or three organizes. And here is our end all, be all metric. One base versus two base and how many rounds it took to win. With one base, it was about 7.5. Um, average rounds. We were unable to win at the six round mark, whereas with two base, we were able to win a bunch of times in six rounds, putting us at a 6.83 average per round. These are statistically significant, meaning that the averages are actually different, and giving another point to two base. Putting the data together, it's all pointing towards two base for the win. Uh, when we played it really is a lot more flexible when you play with two bases, and the cards you get is the defining factor. The Root game is so about cards. The Woodland Alliance are even more about cards than other factions, and having the ability to craft and score big VPs on that or mobilize your cards into sympathy just makes the two-base approach and that extra card so important when playing the Woodland Alliance. So give it a try. Let us know what you think in the comment sections. And uh, let us know if there's other types of analysis you'd like us to do. Smash that subscribe button. Peace.